10, rarest Hemi-powered B-body Mopars ever built. The Chrysler B-body platform was the cradle of classic Mopar muscle, dominating the streets in the late 1960s and early 1970s with Dodge Coronets, Chargers, Plymouth Satellites, and Road Runners. While E-body rides like the Dodge Challenger and Plymouth Barracuda were formidable, B-bodies were the essence of mid-size Mopar muscle. The 426 Street Hemi V8 was the powerhouse behind this era, making B-body cars the fastest and most feared on the road. Despite its iconic status, the 426 Hemi was remarkably scarce. With only 9,778 units installed in production vehicles out of 10,669 engines produced between 1964 and 1971, Hemi-equipped B-body Mopars are rare, some even being figurative unicorns, cherished in the memories of many. Though not among the most expensive Mopars, these Hemi-powered B-body muscle cars, celebrated for their scarcity and power, hold a special place in automotive history. Number 10. The intermediate-sized car that looks big money, but doesn't cost it. Nineteen sixty seven Plymouth Satellite. The Plymouth Satellite, once the pinnacle trim of the Belvedere, later evolved into its own standalone model. Among Mopar enthusiasts, the Belvedere holds the honor of being the first to house a four twenty six Hemi engine for NASCAR racing, predating its use in production vehicles. In nineteen sixty six, the debut year of the Street Hemi. Over 1,500 Belvedere's and satellites rolled out with the mighty 426 engine. But by 1967, a mere dozen were specially ordered. Among them, only six found their home in a satellite, rendering it among the scarcest Mopars in history. Evidence suggests that no original 1967 satellite with a matching number factory-equipped Hemi remains. The closest contender, a 67 satellite retrofitted with a 472 crate engine, fetched $60,000 at a Mecham auction. But an authentic 67 satellite, with its original 426 Hemi, could command well over half a million dollars, if one were to surface. The Plymouth GTX, introduced in 1967, embodied luxury within muscle car culture. Marketed as the gentleman's muscle car, it differentiated itself from the stripped-down Roadrunner by offering upscale performance. In 1970, a redesign replaced the car's angular aesthetic with smoother lines. From inception, the GTX prioritized performance, offering only the 440 CIV-8 and the 4-26 CI Hemi V8 engines. In 1970, a mere 72 GTX boasted the 426 CI Hemi V8, with few surviving to present day. Notably, one such rarity fetched a steal at Macomb Kissimmee 2019, selling for $110,000 with a four-speed transmission. Number 8, 1970 Dodge Super B. In 1968, the Dodge Super B emerged as Mopar's B body mascot. Derived from the Coronet Coupe and named after the B body platform and the Scat Pack Bumblebee. Positioned as Dodge's stripped down muscle car, it boasted considerable power within its Spartan design. While the 440 CI six pack V8 is commonly associated with it, the option of the 426 CI Hemi V8 existed, albeit rarely chosen. In 1970, 15,506 Super Bs were sold, with a mere 36 featuring the 426 Hemi. 
Despite its rarity, the Super B remains undervalued, with recent sales reaching just over $100,000, though a 70 model with a Hemi and 4-speed transmission was unsuccessfully bid up to $199,000 on Bring a Trailer. Number 7. Nineteen seventy, Dodge Coronet RT. The Coronet, a Dodge classic since 1949, started as a lavish luxury ride, evolving into a powerhouse with the Chrysler 354 CI Firepower V8 in its fourth generation. By the 1960s, it dominated sales with its diverse lineup, from family-friendly models to legendary street machines boasting the Hemi 426. In its final year, only 14 coronets were fitted with the coveted Hemi power, elevating their status as highly prized collectibles. Recently, a genuine 1970 Hemi Coronet fetched $247,500, hinting at the staggering potential worth of this iconic model, exemplified by the rare one of two 1970 Hemi Coronet convertible, restored on the Graveyard Cars TV show, possibly worth a million dollars. Number 6, 1970, Plymouth Road Runner. The Road Runner, Plymouth's no-frills muscle car, offered power at an affordable price. Optionless, it could lack carpets, back seats, and radios, riding on plain steel wheels. Buyers often opted for a Hemi upgrade, with 1019 Road Runners sporting these engines in 1968. By 1970, only 72 Hemi Road Runners were sold, making them exceedingly rare. Classic.com values first-gen Hemi-equipped roadrunners at an average of $121,516, with 70 models fetching the highest prices due to their scarcity. Number five. 1970 Dodge Charger RT. The Chargers from the 1968-1970 second generation epitomize the classic muscle car era standing as iconic representations of Dodge's automotive prowess. With appearances in numerous TV shows and films, such as the Dukes of Hazard and the Fast and Furious franchise, the Charger reigns as one of the most celebrated muscle cars in history. Despite its legendary status, the truth reveals a rarity. Among the two 11,532 second-gen Chargers manufactured, Merely 872 boasted the coveted 426 engine, showcasing the stark contrast between perception and reality in the world of automotive legends. Number 4, 1971, Dodge Charger. 1971 marked a significant shift for the Dodge Charger, introducing its distinctive Coke bottle styling and bidding farewell to the powerful 426 CI Hemi engine. 
This transition wasn't embraced by all collectors, yet those chargers outfitted with the 426 Hemi hold considerable value, surpassing their second-gen counterparts. However, the scarcity of these prized engines in 1971 dampened spirits with only a mere 356 Mopars featuring the iconic Hemi, a mere 85 finding their home beneath charger hoods. Despite the Super B's demotion to a trim level, only 22 Charger Super Bs boasted the revered 426, potential auction darlings whose absence from recent sales remains conspicuous. Meanwhile, the 63 Charger RTs flaunting Hemis have firmly entrenched themselves as coveted collectibles, commanding upwards of half a million dollars for impeccably preserved, well-appointed specimens. Number 3. 1966 Dodge Coronet Deluxe Four-Door In 1966, Dodge unleashed the 426 Hemi, sparking a frenzy of automotive innovation. Dropping this powerhouse into the four-door Coronet was an audacious move, yielding just five of these legendary hybrids. Despite their oddity, they stand as icons of rarity and desirability among Mopar enthusiasts. Remarkably, all five endure today, though changing hands infrequently, complicating valuation. A red 66 Coronet Deluxe four-door, boasting the Hemi, commanded $660,000 at auction in 2007, a sum sure to swell with inflation and fervent demand. While not a distinct model, the four-door Coronet earns its own niche, showcasing the transformative might of the Hemi engine. With a 426 nestled within, any vehicle becomes a force to be reckoned with, embracing the mantle of street muscle. Number 2. 1970. Plymouth Superbird As wacky as it sounds, the 1970 Plymouth Superbird was not a popular Mopar when it was introduced. Dealers couldn't give these things away, with unsold inventory sitting on lots for years. As Plymouth's answer to the Dodge Charger Daytona Aero Car, the Superbird was based on the B-Body Roadrunner, hence its name. The wild flying rear wing and protruding nose cone, while immensely cool to modern eyes, were apparently too weird and radical in the early 70s, and the car was a flop. Now, however, the 70 Superbird is one of the most sought after Mopar collectible cars there is. Regularly fetching in the high six figures at auction, rare Hemi equipped versions break the bank at over a million and a half bucks. 1,935 70 Superbirds were produced with 1,084 444 barrels, 716 446 packs, and just 135 426 Hemis. Around 1,000 Superbirds are known to still exist, which is about half of the original production, so the Hemi cars could be ultra rare at this point. Number one. The way I did in my local race shops where guys were building their own parts and pieces when I was, you know, eight, nine years old, seeing it for myself. And, you know, 25 years before that, guys were, were going around Daytona 200 plus miles an hour and in things that are certainly not safe. 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona. The 1968 Dodge Charger 500, initially hyped for NASCAR dominance, 
faltered due to design flaws causing lift and drag, rendering it slow and unsafe. Dodge's remedy birthed the 1969 Charger Daytona, an aerodynamic marvel, shattering the 200 mph barrier while hugging the track. However, to qualify for racing, Dodge had to sell a batch to the public, allegedly 503, though whispers suggest fewer. It's speculated that only around 70 equipped with the powerful 426 Hemi landed in private garages, rendering it an incredibly scarce Mopar gem. The 1969 Charger Daytona stands as the epitome of Hemi-powered Mopar muscle, a collector's dream fetching close to $2 million. So there you have it, the powerhouse 426 Hemi V8 to the rarest B-body beasts. These cars were the true kings of the streets. Each one we talked about tells a story of power, scarcity, and sheer automotive dominance, making them legends in their own right. But what do you think? Do these classic Mopars still hold the same power in your heart? Or is there another muscle car that reigns supreme for you? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this journey, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into automotive history. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and join us for more high octane content. Until next time, keep the pedal to the metal.